Okay, now the next tab we're looking at is the RAID tab, which is one of the most important uh, things that we're going to talk about here, especially for some of my guildies who've been asking uh, for this tutorial, how to use XPearl and how to check out all everyone in the RAID at the same time while they're RAIDing. Again, you can adjust the sizes and stuff so uh, all these groups here don't look too uh, cumbersome. Okay, and this is, these are the party, uh, uh, the RAID party uh, uh, group uh, units here. Okay, and as you can tell, it goes up to 10 groups. And uh, usually I have them all lined up here on my screen, and we usually don't go over five unless we have to do some special adjust and separation for different bosses. I usually might go up to six or seven. Uh, so I'm usually good at uh, setting it for uh, showing eight frames. And you could also uh, define whether or not uh, which uh, classes to show and uh, how to align them, uh, how to uh, order them in the party. And... Um, and then uh, you could adjust the spacings and the sortings and stuff like that. Again, all the general stuff for all the RAID bars, uh, RAID unit frames, are here. Now over here you have uh, something called custom highlights. Awesome freaking feature here. Uh, especially for uh, example when you're doing Kalthasad for healers and uh, mind controllers. Um, when you're looking at your RAID um, frames here, unit frames here, well, during the fight um, you want to know specifically when someone gets um, chains of Kel'Thuzad or uh, frost blasted, right? You know when they get a uh, block of ice and then their health ticks away for 110 percent. You got to throw them heals as fast as they can before they die, right? So the great thing about um, this uh, function of uh, Xperl is that uh, it can show a special custom highlight when someone is either you know uh, is debuffed in a certain way uh, in this case let's talk about Kel'Thuzad when someone gets chained you have to mind control them or uh, when someone gets frost blast you have to keep them healed right so what you do is come here to configure okay and I'll look load up uh, all the uh, custom stuff here all right click new okay and let's go ahead and put in uh, the zone Naxxramas Naxxramas sorry Okay, and then under here, let's go ahead and look for the chains of Kel'Thuzad. Alright, there, there it is. Okay, so we click that, and it'll add it to our list here, so that it'll uh, keep that, keep track of that. Let's do another one, new. Uh, Ramus. Now, the other, next thing we want to do is uh, show people who gets frost blasted. Now, now there's different uh, names for frost blast. So uh, like the frost worm, uh, when uh, he frost blasts people uh, uh, during the fight. So you have to try to figure out which one's the right one. I believe uh, it was uh, where was it? Right here. It should be this one here. Okay. And I'll add it to the list there. Okay. Now once you finish with that, go ahead and uh, close it. So now when I'm doing the Kalthasad fight and I'm a healer. Uh, or I'm doing healing at the time on my pally, uh, it should show people who gets ice blocked uh, so that I could uh, simply just click on their uh, frame and just keep them healed until you know they're out of ice block. Or if I'm on my mage, um, someone gets uh, chained, I'll be able to see a certain uh, custom highlight. It's basically usually a uh, icon of some kind. Okay, If I see them get chained, all I have to do is click on the, their uh, uh, unit frame and then uh, cast a sheep on them. So it makes it really easy. It makes the fight so much easier instead of looking through the screen and trying to click that person uh, to see who's uh, been uh, mind controlled or who's been ice blocked. I really have a really good heaven sent there. The last thing I want to just uh, point out here is uh, aligning your uh, uh, your raid uh, unit frames here. Right now I have it all grouped up like this, you know, one through uh, eight, and all side by side next to each other. Now um, I could. Um, align these by uh, doing this uh, let's say odds and even group okay so maybe I want to put my uh, odd group on top here and my even groups on the bottom here okay so let's align the first two uh, group one and two right let's go and do the odds first okay and then let's align the odds to the top and to the left and then just space it out just click it once to the left or right and then just adjust the spacing so it's negative 63. Now let's do it for the same for the evens. Okay. Let's move it back and then move forward again. And there. They're perfectly aligned. All, all the odd groups on top, all the even groups on the bottom. Okay. Now you do it with the first four to the last four too. So uh, let's move group one back down to here. 
And then the next four would be five. Group five, move it up here, right? And then we'll do the first four, align top and bottom. Okay, and make sure your anchor's on the top, all right? That makes it easier. But you can mess with the settings really easy. And then just go ahead and space it out. There you go. And then do the last four, align top, bottom, and then space it out. Okay? And then all my groups, one, two, three, through uh, four is down here. Ignore group 10 and nine here. I don't know why group 10's there. Uh, so one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then group nine and 10 is showing, even though I told them not to show, but might be a bug or something. Um, and basically, that's how you line up your frames. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do all. Let me set the way I had it before. And voila, and that's it for the rate tab.